So my personal investigation was centred around colour and how it can communicate ideas about emotions and identity. So here I looked at expressionism and as you can see I did a pretty terrible continuous line drawing of myself in the pose of the screen. On this page I did a self portrait which was the first one I ever did and thought it was great. Looking back not so much. On this page I was just experimenting with materials using paint and oil pastels and I really like how my oil pastel self-portrait turned out, I think it's really colourful. I then took photos of my friend and decided to use those photos to create a large scale oil pastel portrait. These pages are just more artist research and then I tried some embroidery myself. I really liked how this artist did embroidery on a shoe so I did the same thing on an old shoe that I had. This is just quite a scruffy few pages that look at planning before I did my large scale portrait. So I experimented a bit with embroidery and needle felt. The needle felt looked really really weird so I definitely didn't go with that. I was really pleased with the outcome of this portrait and I still think it's one of the best paintings I've ever done. I then moved on to experimenting with latex but I wasn't really happy with how any of those pieces turned out. I then tried to take a more 3D approach in my work, but I don't really think this outcome was too successful. I made some more 3D work trying to demonstrate how it feels for me to have arthritis but I don't think these turned out too great. This is the large scale oil painting portrait that I did. This is the shoe that I embroidered onto. This is the large scale oil pastel portrait. Here I was looking at how certain colours can communicate a colder atmosphere.
I made this portrait using acrylic paint and the end of a glue spreader which took a really long time. So I took a photo of myself looking miserable and then I did another self portrait based on that photo and I absolutely hate how it turned out. So I moved on to looking at quite an emotional topic for myself which was my dad's illness and I recreated some of the photos of him in hospital and after surgery and I did little bits of stitching in them. I then did some stick and ink portraits based on one of the photos of dad and I did a tiny little book experimenting. This page is just quite a lot of experimentation with fine liner and then on the next page I did a needle felted eye and embroidered into it. As an outcome for this I did two small portraits with fine liner. I got myself some more primary research by going to this and I have no idea how it fits with my project at all but I managed to make it fit. I'm still proud of this artist copy I did, I think it came out pretty good. I made a few edits from a photo shoot and for some reason incorporated a skull in there, no idea why. Instead of repainting the whole picture I just did half of it and then stuck half the image in and I think it looks quite cool. I started to look a bit closer at the technique that Goff used and applied that to the portrait I did of my dad after his brain surgery. I did the goth impression on acetate so I could take it off and still look at the realistic version. I made some ugly wire sculptures and I learnt that I never want to use wire again because it's horrible to use. So I got a bit more abstract and started to think about how Colour can be used to still communicate emotions without it having to be a portrait. So now we've got onto the boring bit, which is just me planning what I'm going to do for my final piece. One thing I would recommend is doing a Venn diagram about which pieces you thought were most successful. And I think that'll show the examiner you know what you're doing. So this is just a quick look at my final piece. And at the end I got an A star, which I was really pleased with. And I hope this video has helped any art students out there.